It was Tom, but soon after it came back to the two local de departments. The school superintendent says that the perceived threat against the pep rally, it didn't seem to phase students at all. Students showed up in class colors and crazy outfits at Sanborn Regional High School Friday, capping Spirit Week with a winter carnival pep rally. Only the addition of two extra members of the Kingston Police Department, any indication that an alleged threat had been made to their safety. Even attendance at 82% was more than the superintendent expected. I mean, some students did stay home because of this, and, and that's okay. That's their parents' prerogative, um, but we also have a number of students that we know headed out early on vacation, too. A letter went home to parents on Monday after authorities learned that a senior who was not currently attending the school made the alleged threat. He was in Exeter at the time. Exeter police interviewed several witnesses. Tonight, that investigation is over. Something we have to look at is the, the balance between freedom of speech and uh, whether people um, were placed in, in you know, imminent fear, and, and so uh, we, that's what we investigated, and, and uh, we have found that uh, we will not have any criminal charges on our end. The Kingston chief says their investigation is ongoing, so the young man's identity and details of the threat are not being released. The parents and student have been fully cooperating with both us and the police departments, so we're, we're, we're in a good space. Again, the Kingston chief is stressing that the investigation with his department is not over, but tonight as students head off for February school vacation, palpable relief, especially among school officials and students' parents, that this week is finally over. Reporting live in Kingston, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.